Human and natural resources in Yobe State have been affected by the Boko Haram insurgency and natural disasters. In 2022 alone, 74 persons were killed, 30,000 hectares of farmland submerged by flood, and some 35,000 households displaced from their homes across the state. These happenings have affected the response to disease outbreaks in Yobe. The federal government, with support from the World Health Organization, is launching a new initiative that should boost emergency response in Yobe. The whole lessons of surge being led by WHO are from supporting the federal government of Nigeria and the states is to build capacity within the state level, within the community level, and also to provide infrastructures. This surge is, uh, uh, is just starting in, uh, uh, with uh, six states in the country. So one state per geopolitical zone has been selected to commence the search. And uh, luckily, Yobe State happened to be the one selected in the Northeast. The Yobe State Commissioner of Health welcomed the initiative, but is concerned about the inadequate skilled human resources and limited logistics. While Yobe State has continued to make efforts towards strengthening capacity for emergency preparedness and response, there are, there are inadequacies in number of skilled human resources, logistics, commodities and supplies, communication challenges and insufficient engagement with the private sector among others. The SOGE initiative has come timely and is a great opportunity that will help us to overcome these challenges and help us accelerate progress towards health security for all in UB State as well as attainment of universal health coverage. The initiative, which is also being launched across all the geopolitical zones of the country, is expected to develop the capacity of public health workers to respond swiftly and timely to all emergencies.